awesome, awesome. You are the mighty God. There is none like thee in all the universe, O oh God. We thank you today. We take time and pause and say, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for loving us with an everlasting love. You are King of kings, Lord of lords. There is none like thee. Worthy is the lamb. Hallelujah. Not woe is me today, but worthy is he. You are worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Hallelujah. We magnify you today. We lift up your name. We say thank you for the name that's above every other name, the name that heals, the name of Jesus that sets free, the name of Jesus that saves, delivers. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is higher than any sickness, any disease, any calamity, any trial, any tribulation. Hallelujah. We call on that great name. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus that delivers from yokes and bondages. The name of Jesus that sets the captive free. Hallelujah. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Now have your way today, Lord God. Have your way in this service, Lord God. We yield ourselves. We offer up the fruit of our lips. Hallelujah. Our soul cries out. Hallelujah. We praise God for saving us. Now, Lord, we pray for the hands that we hold. My brother and my sister, Lord God, we pray that you would strengthen them by the power of your might in our inner man, Lord God. Give us a desire to please thee, a hunger for your words, Lord God. As the deer panteth for the water, let our soul long after you, O oh God. You alone are our heart's desire, and we long to worship you. Now, Lord, loose healing down the line. Whose report shall we believe? We believe the report of the Lord. We bind the works of darkness. Satan, the Lord God, rebuke you. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood, hallelujah, that reaches the highest mountain, the blood that flows to the lowest valley, the blood of Jesus that gives us strength from day to day. It shall never, ever, ever, ever lose its power. Now have your way today, Lord God, as we lift up your name and magnify thee. Don't let this just be another Sunday morning gathering, another regular service. Hallelujah, Lord God. Help our unbelief to believe you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Perfect that which concerneth us. Hallelujah. Perfect that which is lacking in our faith, that we be free to worship you, free to magnify you, free to lift you up. Hallelujah. For you said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. Have your way today, Lord God. We thank you for touching our mind, giving us strength in our body. Hallelujah. And we give you the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's thank the Lord together. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give him praise today. Shake it off. Hallelujah. Stir up the gift that's within you. For our God is a great God, and he's great and greatly to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give your neighbor a hug and say, put your praise on. Give somebody else a hug and say, put your praise on. As we get ready to worship him in this house. Hallelujah. As the praise and worship team comes at this time. Hallelujah. 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 Like Pastor Payne said, put a praise on it. Yeah. Keep putting the praise on it. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you. We magnify your name. We lift you up high, God. We exalt you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And God, there is none like you in all the earth. Lord God, we glorify you. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's praise him today. Here we go. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody. Everybody dance before him. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him now. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody. Everybody dance before him. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him. I can feel him now. Let's sing that again. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody. Everybody. Dance before dance him. Dance before There's him. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him. I can feel him now. Oh, 
There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody. Everybody. Dance. Dance before him. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him now. I can feel him now. One voice. Oh, he's high. He's high and lifted up. His train fills the temple. And he reigns. He reigns upon the throne. He's God and God alone. Come on, sing it again. He's high. He's high and lifted up. His train fills the temple. And he reigns. He reigns upon the throne. He's God and God alone. Here we go. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody clap. Everybody dance before him. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him now. I can feel him now. Can you feel the spirit? There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. Everybody bow before the king. Everybody bow before him. There's a praise. There's a praise in this house. I can feel him. I can feel him now. Oh, he's high. I lift it His up. Rain His rain fills the temple, and He reigns. He reigns upon the He's throne. God and God He's alone. God and God alone. Everybody singing. He's high. He's high and lift it up. His rain fills the temple, and He reigns. He reigns upon yeah. the throne. He's God and God alone. Come on, sing it again. And he rides the throne. He rides the throne. He's God and God alone. Yeah, he's high. He's high and lifted up. His train fills the temple. And he rides. He rides upon the throne. He's God and God alone. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus this morning. Is he mighty? Is he wonderful? Yeah! Somebody open up your mouth and give God praise today. We came to magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let me hear you sing him. Hey, so praise him. Praise him. Lift those. Lift those hands and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is here. Yes, and praise him. Praise him. Everybody, lift those hands. Lift those hands and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is here. Yes, and praise him. Praise him. Everybody in the sanctuary, lift those. Lift those hands and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is here. Jehovah, 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 Jehov
with me. It's with me. God. God. It's with me. It's with me. Come on, spirit in life. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. Say praise him. Praise him. Lift up. Lift up. And to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is here. Yeah. Say praise him. Praise him. Everybody lift up. Lift up. Those hands and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is here. Yeah. Say praise him. Praise him. Lift up. Lift those hands and praise him. Say praise him. Praise him. God is here. God is yeah. here. Yeah. He's Jehovah. Jehovah. Jireh. Jireh. 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 He's Jehovah. Jehovah. Nisi. Nisi. He's Jehovah. Jehovah. Nisi. Nisi. He's Jehovah. Jehovah. Nisi. Nisi. He's Jehovah. Jehovah. Come on, praise them, praise them. Lift up, lift those hands and praise them, praise them, praise them. God is here, God is here. Yeah, say praise them, praise them. Lift up, lift those hands and praise them, praise them, praise them. God is here, God is here. 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 God is here, yeah. God is here. 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 Yeah. Say praise him. Praise him. Say praise him. Praise him. Say praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Say praise him. Praise him. Say praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Lift up, lift those hands and praise him. Praise him, praise him. God is here, God is here. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's keep this party going. This is the day that the Lord has made. How many of you are ready to rejoice and be glad in it? Yes. Clap your hands like this. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. You see, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be Come glad. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We lift you high. We lift 
too high in this place. Yeah, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. You see, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, 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 this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We, we lift you high in this place. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We lift you. We lift you high in this place. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift you high. We lift you high in this place. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We pray. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift you high. We lift you high in this place. Yeah. 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 Come on, give God some praise. Come on, God, you're worthy. Oh, God, we bless you. Yeah. Come on and say, lift those hands and say, hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Lift those voices and say,
I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I know when I step foot onto the holy ground, something quickens in my spirit. And I don't have a choice but to open up my mouth and bless the name of Jesus. This song right here is a declaration. We are saying hallelujah. The word says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I don't get a break. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Continually be in my mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 God, have your way. 
have your way have your way can you say that here for you lord come on say here for you lord desperate for more hearts filled with praise take over this and have your way have your way say have your way have your way say have your way lord have your way Say, have your way. Have your way. Can we try that again? Come on, say, here for you, Lord. Say, here for you, Lord. And we are desperate. Desperate for more. Say, our hearts filled with praise. Hearts filled with praise. Say, take over this place. Take over this And place. have your way. Have your way. Come on, say, have your way. Have your way. Say, have your way, have Lord. Your way. Yeah. Have your, way. have your way. Can we sing that again? Come on, say, I'm here for you, Lord. Here for you, Lord. And we're desperate. Desperate for more. Hearts filled with praise. Hearts filled with praise. Say, take over this place. Take over this and place. have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Say, have your way. Have your way. Everybody say, have your way, have your way. Lord. Can we say that again? Say, I'm here for you, Lord. Here for you, Lord. And we're desperate for desperate more. Desperate for more. And our hearts fill with praise. Hearts with praise. Say, take over, take, take over, over, take over. Say, way. have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Say, have your way. Have your way. Say, have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Try this part. Say, we are desperate. Yeah. We are waiting for you, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way. Yeah. Do you have that? Come on. Can everybody say, we are desperate? We are desperate. We're waiting for you. We are waiting for you, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Everybody with one loud voice, come on, say, we are desperate. We are desperate. We are waiting for you, Lord. Have your way. Let me say something to you. I won't move until you tell me to move. That's just how much I surrender to your will. That's just how much I surrender to your way. I won't speak until you give me what to say. Hallelujah. We're desperate and we're waiting for you, Jesus, to have your way, whatever that looks like. Even if it makes me uncomfortable, whatever it is, oh God, I say yes to your will. Is that anybody's prayer this morning? Come on, everybody lift up your voice and say, we're desperate. Come on, everybody say. We are desperate. And we're waiting for you. We are waiting. Come on, say it like you mean. 
mean it. We are waiting for you, Lord. Say, have your way. Have your way. Now, everybody, lift up your hands and begin to worship the Lord our God. Oh, God, we bless you. Oh, God, we adore you. Oh, God, we love you. My God is holy. My God is righteous. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way, way, Lord. Have your way, have your way, Lord. Heal right now, Jesus, have your way. Deliver right now, oh God, have your way. Save right now, Jesus, have your way. Do it, do it, do it in the name of Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Have your way. Come on, say, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Can you say that? Say, have your way. 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 Say, have your way. Have your way. Everybody say, have your way. Have your way. Sit on every seat, God. Have your way. what's supposed to be done but get that thing in your head and the way you thought you wanted it to work out that may not be what God got for you and that's okay because what he has is better what he has is better what he has is greater come on I'm gonna tell you something I can look back I can look back and it's not even that long ago on some things that I prayed for amen And God said, no. And now I understand why. And what I prayed for so hard and I thought I wanted so bad. I look at now like, really? Like, what was I even (laughs) thinking? You know me better than I know myself. You know my desires. And you know that maybe that person that I want to be with, that ain't what you got for me. Because what I need and where you see me and where you're putting me, that person, she or he can't go with me. That job that I want so bad. I mean, I can't be tied down maybe to a nine to five. You understand? Because God maybe got something better. Or maybe it is that greater nine to five. Whatever it is. Don't forget that God knows you better 
then you know yourself. So when you're doubting and you're confused and you don't understand, just say, Lord, have your way. I don't understand it, but God, have your way. I know that you have my best interest at heart. Throw your hands up and say, have your way. Say, I surrender all, have your way. I give up, have your way. Take control, have your way. God, do it right now, have your way. Have your way, 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 Jesus. Have your way. Come on, say, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Everybody say, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Singing like you mean it. Have your way. Singing like you mean it. Have your way. say that's it that's that's it yeah come on say I'm your way, Lord. can she sing it a little bit louder please come on say we are desperate we're waiting for you one accord everybody say we are desperate we are desperate waiting for you we are waiting for you lord say have your way have your way hallelujah hallelujah we're desperate we are desperate we're waiting we are waiting for you lord have your way. Have your way. Can we sing that one more time? Hallelujah. Say, we're desperate. We are desperate. We're waiting. We are waiting for you, Lord. To have your way. Have your way. Now, if you mean that, come on. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, have your way. Come on, somebody say, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. Surrender all. Can you lift your hands and say that? Everybody, come on, say. I surrender all. Have your way, Lord. I surrender all. I give up for you, Jesus. Say all. Oh, God. 
Grazie. All to be mine. Blessed Savior. Come on, open your mouth I'm on, as you're standing all over the building. Come on, open your mouth and say, I surrender all. I release it all to you. Y'all not talking to God. Y'all not talking. Lift those hands all over the building. All over the building, lift those hands. That's it, that's it. Hallelujah. Come on, all to thee, my blessed Savior. Come on, tell him, I surrender all. Come on, give God praise all over the building. Come on, give God praise. Come on, put your voice with that hand clap and give God some glory. Come on, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't hold back. Hallelujah. 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 Grab somebody's hand. Go across the aisle. Don't leave anyone untouched. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We exalt you. We magnify you as our only Savior, our only option. There is absolutely none like you. You deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. You deserve our worship. We honor you. We magnify you. We glorify you. The only wise God, our Savior, you are everything. And, Lord, we bless you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your people. We thank you for the anointing that abides. We ask you, Lord, to have your way. Have your way. We let go of everything but you. We release everything into your hands right now. In the name of Jesus. We refuse to put our hands on it at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We refuse to hold on to it, Lord. We release it to you. We surrender everything. And Lord, have your way in our lives. We bless you for those that are here, those that are joining us online. We thank you for them. And Lord, reach us right where we are. Save us. Heal us. Deliver us. Set us free. Find a way to bless us, Lord. And, Lord, let your favor and your hand rest on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, it's one thing to put, clap your hands. It's another thing to put your voice with that. Come on, give God some glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Do me a favor. Throw your arms around somebody. Hug them and tell them I'm so glad to see you. Amen. Amen. Uh, hug somebody else. Tell them I'm glad to see you too. Don't leave them out. Uh, don't leave them out. Amen. We bless God for everybody that's here. And we bless God more importantly because God's presence is here. We thank God for him. Amen. For just allowing us to be in his presence one more time. Amen. We bless God for everybody. Let's run to Isaiah chapter number 26. Isaiah 26. And um, we'll read the first four verses there. Isaiah 26 and 1. We bless God for you. Isaiah 26 and 1. We'll read 1 through 4. And um, be a kind neighbor if your neighbor doesn't have their Bible. Amen. Reach over and share with them. And make sure that they're reading along with you. Um, because if they don't get this word, they're going to be the one disturbing your peace. <laughs> amen. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 1, if you have it, can you say amen? In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength, or the Lord Jehovah is the rock of ages. Hmm. In the Amplified Version, it reads like this. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up salvation as walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the one that remains faithful and trustworthy. You will keep him, keep, you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is, committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because he trusts and take refuge in you, takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. Trust confidently in the Lord forever. He is your fortress, your shield, your banner. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock, the rock of ages. Can the church say amen? Lay your hand on your own head and say, I speak perfect peace to myself. Just say perfect peace. Amen. Give God praise all over the building. Come on, give God praise. Um, we are um, in a very perilous time. We're living in a very perilous time. And with that in mind, we have to understand um, the uh, plans, the schemes, the plots, the wiles of the enemy. Um, it's interesting that... Um, we're living in a time where we're being tested and stretched. Um, your emotional stability is always kind of in peril. Uh, your mental stability is being challenged. And physically, you're being under duress. Stress affects you in so many different ways. 
uh, worry and anxiety. Though it can affect you uh, not only emotionally uh, and mentally, but it will affect you physically if you're not careful. It begins to have uh, some very profound effects on how you sleep. Amen. Uh, a lot of us are not getting nearly enough sleep. It seems sometimes almost impossible to turn your mind off. Amen. It's quiet in here. I must have my foot on a demon right now. Uh, it's almost impossible many times to uh, even get rest. Sometimes you actually sleep, but you don't rest. And you don't really find yourself. You wake up feeling just as tired as when you lay down. And uh, throughout the day, you're struggling. It's really funny, amen, <laughs> how sleepy you can be during the day. And then when it's time to go to sleep, you're wide awake. <laughs> and you wonder, well, how come I can't? Uh, it's always a challenge for me every week. I can just make it personal. Uh, Saturday nights are difficult for me uh, because I'm trying to just, you know, get my mind to shut down. And, uh, uh, even last night, or should I say this morning, I, I'm preaching the message in my mind. And I, I'm like, oh, how am I going to approach this? And all these things are going on. And that, along with where you carry the burdens of people with you, sometimes it's not even your issue that's the problem. Sometimes it's not even your circumstance that's the big challenge for you. Sometimes it's things that you take on. It's stuff that you allow into your space. Uh, I know, I know, I know. It's because you're trying to be a good friend. You're trying to be a good family member, but what you're doing is you're, you're taking on far too much. Amen. One thing you have to keep in mind, uh, there's only one Jesus, and uh, it's not you. Uh, so uh, you can't uh, try to be everyone's savior. You can't try to rescue Everybody, you can't be Superman and Superwoman or Wonder Woman or whichever woman you want to be. You can't be that for everybody because, amen, you have so much on your plate. And uh, I remember, uh, I think it was last year, I was talking about the folks saying, I got a lot on my plate. And everybody in this room and all those that are watching uh, will say, Pastor, you know, I got a lot going on. I got a lot on my plate. Well, who fixed your plate? Amen. Who put that stuff on your plate? Sometimes uh, you bit off more than you can chew. You put more on your plate. Y'all ain't helping me. You know good and well the holidays are coming up, and you know how some of you like to pile your plates high. And, and sometimes you got a lot to tackle on your plate. You put some things together. But you have to understand that if I allow the Lord to, to build my plate, then he's going to give me uh, what I need. And he's not going to allow me to take on more. And sometimes you're busy. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Sometimes you're busy like you're at a buffet. You're at a smorgasbord. You're just grabbing everything. The wisdom of being even at a buffet is learning how to take a little something and be able to stretch that so that you don't, amen, fill up too quickly. Amen. Uh, love the little word of thumb I'll throw in here, too, is don't fill up on bread because, uh, amen, if you fill up on all those carbs, you're going to miss the main meal. Amen. All right. Amen. I'm just helping you a little bit. Uh, I'll talk about that stuff later because sometimes y'all, everybody watch one video and all of a sudden you don't want to eat meat anymore. The devil is a liar. Amen. I'm eating meat. Amen. Bless, look at somebody say, bless it and go on in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Oh, this ain't good for you. This but, but the thing is that everybody, you know, is being bombarded consistently now where the enemy is working. And I'm going to give you an understanding, a clue that what he's doing is he's trying to wear us out. Amen. He's wearing us out emotionally. He's wearing us out even psychologically. He's putting a lot of pressure on us. And pressure, amen, begins to have its effect and it wears us down. So that's why you can rest physically, but not actually, you can lay down physically, I should say, but not really get any rest because you're actually emotionally and psychologically drained. You're worn down. Amen. You're tired. Amen. We don't even like, uh, most of us now, 
now at a point where we're very careful. If you're not, you ought to be careful about how much TV you watch. You have to be monitoring how much of your, amen, online presence you have. Sometimes you got to just stop in and jump back out. You got to maybe get a little catch of it because even on our phones, we're constantly getting news. And amen, I got to the point where I got to turn off notifications for, amen, CNN and MSNBC. And I got to turn off notifications for, amen, newspaper headlines because you're constantly bombarded because one will hit you right after another. And then sometimes you can't even enjoy, amen, going on Facebook anymore because sometimes you go on there and you got somebody, you know, you got either got a bunch of folks preaching to you or you got a bunch of folks complaining or you got a bunch of folks trying to make a stand and everybody's all woke and everything. Some people that are woke need to go to sleep for a little while. Amen. And you're just so woke that you got to be on alert all the time and they almost want you to create something to protest and you want to make sure that you amen have some folks that are you know, i got to hey look don't miss this dove ad you know this dove ad means something they trying to send you a message and and then you ain't there not even seeing the video of it but you seeing a screenshot and so the screenshot can be deceptive y'all didn't catch that see the screenshot will make it look like it's a amen a, a cleansing of the black thing and then get into a white person but you didn't see the whole video because it went from a black woman to a white woman to a Latino woman and now all of a sudden it takes on a different meaning because that's the trick of the enemy. What he wants you to do is to constantly play the victim, to constantly be on attack, to be mad all the time. Amen. Look at somebody and say, you can't just live mad all the time. You can't be just angry and looking for to become a victim all the time. At some point I gotta become a victor. I gotta get the victory over some stuff stuff and, and sometimes that means getting the victory over my emotion Amen. Y'all, y'all sit down. Y'all gonna make me preach too soon here. But, but sometimes what we do is we have a lot coming at us all the time. And if you're not careful, it'll be like uh, it was an old game we used to play, an old video game uh, that me and my friend Daniel and Andy we used to have. And we and it was and see a lot of y'all young people have no idea what I'm about to talk about. But there was a game called Astro Smash. Amen. And you and you used to have a little thing shooting up at these little asteroids all the time. And what happened is the further you go the quicker they were coming. Y'all ain't gonna help me, it started coming faster. So you had to maintain, and I remember my friends used to say, maintain poise, man, don't get all worked up. And you know, I hear you, Holy Ghost. And the Lord says, life is coming at you like astral smash. And, and you're going, and it, it seemed like stuff is coming at you quick. Am I talking to anybody in here beside myself? It seemed like stuff is happening a lot quicker now. It's coming at you, and all day long, it's coming at you, and you're trying to dodge, and trying to shoot them down, and trying to knock it down. And next thing you know, if you're not careful, one them big old asteroids going to knock you right out of the box and you have to be game over. But understand what God is saying. He says you're going to have to learn how to make sure that you don't allow yourself to constantly being in a rush and constantly being I mean, understanding that the bombardment is coming but you, it's a trick of the enemy. Don't allow yourself to get so angry and so wrapped up that you I mean, are not living your life and you lose focus. The trick of the enemy is to make you lose focus, to make you lose, amen, your perspective, to not be able to apprehend or comprehend what's really going on around you. And so you're sitting here mad all the time. You're sitting here upset. You're either mad or you're crying. And you realize that I can't live my life like this. In fact, he has us where we're not even living. We're not even living and operating in abundance. We're not even thinking about the goodness of the Lord because we woke up mad because I'm woke now. And I got to realize that there's enemies all around. And now everybody ain't your enemy. Everybody's not trying to destroy you. There are some people that are on your side. Let me grab somebody real quick and say there's more with us than be with them. All right, I'm going to let that alone. But watch this here. When he's coming at your mind and he's fighting your emotions and getting you worked up, what's happening is you're not making the progress that you should be able to make because your peace has been disturbed. Amen. In this, the enemy is a master peace disturber. He's a master at getting you all excited. He'll make you look at a news report and think this is happening directly to you. All right, let me try something 
else. A lot of us go and diagnose ourselves on, on online. We go to WebMD and start trying to figure out what this is. I saw that. I felt this pain. Is it? I mean, the next thing you know, you think you got cancer already and you're about to die. Oh, I'll get my, my, my affairs in order. Listen, that's just a cold, honey. You, you're just, you just had a little rash. You had bumped up against something. But no, you've got your mind in an uproar and thinking that this is the end. And the enemy is sitting back laughing at us because we're supposed to be kingdom minded. But we're so busy being, amen, bombarded with junk and watching and looking at every little distraction and every little, amen, little illusion that he can bring up that now we're not able to operate. The devil is a liar. I'm coming against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shake somebody's hand and say, get your mind right. Get your mind right. Amen. Look at somebody and say, get, get your emotions in check. So you realize uh, that this is his, his trick. Uh, this is his scheme. And it's not new, Mother Hamilton. Uh, he said, understand in the scriptures, he said, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Uh, we're wrestling against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this earth uh, and the spirit uh, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, he also said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh, but they're mighty through God because they're pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations, uh, coming against every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. God. He knows that if he can block you from getting God's mind, amen, he can get you to operating on a level that you ain't even supposed to be under. If he can get you operating out of pocket, if he can get you to cutting up, if he can get you in a battle, if he can get you fighting, amen, wars that you had no business being involved in, he's got you right where he wants you. Because as long as you don't become kingdom minded, as long as you don't have focus on the Lord, he can move you and do whatever he wants and manipulate you uh, and give you an illusion give you an idea uh, that everybody's against me and everybody's going to fight me and nobody's going to help me the devil is a liar you've got to understand uh, that God says I got my hand on you uh, and when I have my hand on you no demon in hell out of hell anywhere uh, can stop you from becoming what God wants you to become if you believe it open your mouth and let me hear you praise him for just a moment uh, I ain't going to hold you all day. Uh, you got to understand uh, that this is his mind. His, this is, is this his scheme. Uh, this is his plan for us all along to make you believe that things are not like they, that God says they are. He tries to lie to you and make you not believe what God has already started in your life. God, the one that has started a good work in you will perform it until the day of the Lord. But if he can get you to not thinking properly, he'll have you like Elijah was in last Sunday's text, running for your life because of what somebody said, falling out of favor because of what somebody said, leaving the church robbing a marriage, uh, running all loose because you say, I heard so-and-so said this about me. So-and-so told me that so-and-so said and they posted something that was like, it was about me. I know they were trying to throw shade. The devil, you ain't got time. You don't have time to worry about who don't like you. Don't worry about who's on your side. Don't worry about who's talking about you. Amen. Keep them talking until you get so blessed to where they'll ask you for your number and they'll ask you to hook up with you and they'll ask you for a job. Okay. Let me get in here. Let me get in this text. I feel something pushing me here. But understand what you're saying. The book of Isaiah, the book where it's talking about salvation. Before you talk about salvation or redemption, you have to talk about the judgment that was coming. And the Lord, amen, says, I'm going to judge, amen, my children. I'm judging Judah. He's sending this word to say, I'm going to correct them because they have messed up, because they made some bad choices. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. I know it's going to get a little tricky right now because there are times we don't want to admit that we haven't done everything the way we were supposed to do it, that we made some bad decisions. We turned around. We got turned around. We made some wrong or left when we should have went right. We could have, should have kept going straight, but we made so we got distracted. Oh, it's quiet in here. Look at somebody say, I'm, I'm quiet because I got distracted. Uh, amen. Touch somebody say, I'm quiet because I made a right when I should have made a left. Uh, I'm, I'm quiet because uh, I didn't always do things the right way. Come on, church. Uh, I know you're trying to live holy. I believe you are. But understand, we do, we do mess up. 
And sometimes the Lord has to correct us, just like a good parent has to bring you back in line. Every now and then, all of us get jammed up and we get checked. The Lord knows how to jam you up, but it doesn't mean that he embarrasses you or makes you fall out. Every now and then, his jamming up is just you hearing a message that makes you go, oh, Lord, that, that, that breaks your heart. You hear a word that'll make you think, oh, Lord, I got to get myself together. Is there anybody in here that wants to get themselves together before the cow? calendar flips in the 2018. Is there anybody in here that will admit I haven't done it always right but I have a heart for God and I repent and I'm trying to do the right thing. Lean on someone I'm trying to live holy. I'm trying to live right. I'm getting better but the Lord had to check me Mother Hamilton to get me back in line. Every now and then the Lord has to jam you up and say what are you doing here? What are you doing here? He asked Elijah last week, what in the world are you doing here? I didn't send you to this place. And sometimes we go places that goodness and mercy don't want to be there. Oh, y'all got quiet on that one. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you. Yeah, but sometimes they said, I'll wait for you out here. But understand, Isaiah was saying, I'm going to judge it. In the early part of especially, he was checking them. He was correcting them. And he was sending the word. In fact, the 24th chapter, it says God's judgment is going to be on the whole world. The whole world is going to be judged. He said, I'm making the earth empty. Uh, he said, I'm making it waste. I'm turning it upside down. Whew. This is God in the Old Testament, Mother Hamilton, saying, I'm turning the world upside down. I'm flipping it upside down. And if you look at the world right now, wouldn't you admit that it seems topsy-turvy? It seems like you got to, well, I ain't going to go into that because some people might have voted for him. But sometimes you got people in the White House that have no business being even in Washington, D.C. And you understand that the whole world You've got novices in positions of power. And then people that should be in power are not anywhere close to the position. So now you're saying, what are we going to do? Because the world looks like it's going crazy. He said, I want you to understand, it's going to happen as with the people, it's going to be the same thing with the priest. As with the servant, and same as with the master. Y'all ain't going to help me. He said, in other words, I'm, 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 I'm blurring the lines. He said, the one that the priest, the one that should be spiritual, it's going to be the same way with them, the, the people. Huh? In other words, we're all in the same boat. We ain't going to, I don't, the pastor doesn't come floating down from a cloud every week to preach your word and go back up into heaven. Huh? No, we all live in this. We're all struggling. Huh? Ah, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me. Huh? I know you sit next to Sister Deep and Brother, amen, Brother, amen, I, I got a word from the Lord. No, listen, huh? amen, that's why everybody's on Facebook, amen, preaching. Everybody's got a word. Huh? Everybody got a message. Everybody trying to get you together. Listen, the people that are trying to get you together, they're struggling too. All of us are in here trying to make it to heaven. We're trying to work it out. We're trying to be live right. I wish I had about five people in here that admit that you ain't that deep. You look really holy right now. You look really sanctified right now, but you really need God to help you because just last week you were about to lose your mind. So he said, I'm sending judgment. And he said, the earth is defiled. He said, I'm telling you. But then there's something, Mother Hamilton, that brings a bridge from the 24th chapter to where we are in our text. The 25th chapter, it says, oh Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. See, what brings us back in line and what turns our lives around is our ability to praise God and declare some things about who he is. Lord, you're God. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I lift you up. I know you're judging it, but even when you're judging, I gotta give you praise. Even when you're correcting me, I gotta lift you up. I gotta praise you because, Lord, he said, your counsels of old, because you've done wonderful things. Give your neighbor a high five and say, in spite of it all, the Lord has done wonderful things. In spite of everything I've been going through. 
the Lord has done wonderful things. In spite of everything that's been going on this year, God has still been a good God. In spite of everything that's happened, in spite of how down I may have been, God is still a good God. Give somebody a high five and say marvelous things. Look at somebody else and say wonderful things. Amen. Great things. How many of y'all know in here that in spite of how broke you may be right now, God is a good God. God is a wonderful God. God is a great God. Open your mouth and praise him like you believe it. And he deserves, he deserves the praise. He deserves our worship. Amen. No matter what station you're in, no matter what place you are in life, he still deserves the worship. He said, listen, you're made of a city of heap, a defense city of ruin. Amen. You brought it all the way down. Lord, you squat, you screw, you crushed some things. You built some other things up. He said, Lord, so the strong people are going to glorify you. Those that made it through are going to give God some glory. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, congratulations. You may almost made it through. Amen. Lean on somebody. It didn't kill you. It didn't hurt you. It may have knocked you out, but you got back on your feet. Well, in other words, give somebody a high five and say, I'm a survivor. I'm still here. I'm still here. And if you're still here, if you're still breathing give God a praise because he's going to bring you all the way out give God some glory because he's going to do everything he promised to do you got turned around you lost some time but God said you're still here and I kept you alive for a reason give me my glory open your mouth and let me Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. He's saying, Lord, uh, you're going to do some marvelous things. Uh, he's in this mountain. Uh, shall the Lord of hosts uh, make unto him uh, all people a feast uh, of fat things. Uh, in other words, he said, I'm getting ready uh, to have a celebration. Uh, I'm getting ready. Uh, I'm going to give you a moment uh, where you're going to have some joy. Uh, but understand this. Uh, when you come to the New Testament, uh, he said what you have to understand uh, is that I'm in the kingdom of heaven is not meat and drink. What is it, Pastor Hamilton? It's righteousness, it's peace, and it's joy in the Holy Ghost. Look at someone and say, that's all I need. All I need is righteousness and peace and the joy of the Holy Ghost. In other words, I just need to be saved. I need to be saved. I need to have God. Because if I have God, he'll give me money. If I have God, he'll give me stuff. I ain't worried about the stuff. Because the stuff gets us distracted. All right, it's quiet in here now. See, the stuff is where we get off track. Because we want money and we want more of it. And then if our neighbor doesn't have theirs, they want us to help them get their money. Help me get myself together. And it's like, I can't help you because I'm crazy. All right, let me. I can't. You're an emotional wreck trying to help another emotional wreck. When the Lord says, if you're with me, you're supposed, you got to operate with a kingdom mindset. Kingdom mindedness means I need, I have to have righteousness, right living, but also notice the other two components, peace. You never read in scripture where God ever said, the Lord ever said, worry about this. As crazy as times were throughout scripture, when they were in Egypt, he never says, y'all need to panic right about now. When he was getting ready to bless Abraham, after 20 years of waiting, what he was wondering was, what is Sarah doing laughing at my promise? Why in the world is she laughing 
when I told you you're going to have that child and you're going to be a great nation. Y'all ain't helping me. See, he never, in the, even in the garden, Jesus never said, y'all, I think it's about to go down. He said, pray with me. And they couldn't even do that. Notice that he didn't say panic. He said, pray. All the times throughout scripture where he said, peace, be of good cheer, be of good comfort. You're facing a big challenge, but be of good cheer. In last week's Bible study, I was sharing about how the children of Israel let a bad report delay them and deny some of them, most of them, getting into the promised land. Because they received the negative more than they received the positive. Caleb said, calm down. Look at someone say, calm down. We can go get it tonight. Y'all ain't going to help me. He said, we can go get this right now. Joshua and them said, if the Lord delight in us, he'll give us the good of the land. Let's go. But don't, don't mess up. Don't make God mad by not believing him. But they receive the negative, just like most of us receive negativity and eat that stuff up. We internalize it. Now I got to talk to y'all because y'all really got, I got your attention now. Because, see, you, you take that in, and next thing you know, it's coming out of you. They got to talk about, we ought to elect us a captain and go back to Egypt. Are you out of your mind? God has brought you through the wilderness. He's kept you. He's provided for you. And you talking about going back? And they said, no, we can't do that. And he said, don't rebel against God. Don't do that. He said, because God, he said, the people that you're worried about are bread for us. We're going to eat them up. Y'all ain't quite, you see, see, because we want to believe. I can't, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can, I, listen, I don't know if it's for me. Listen, quit trying to get confirmation of people that ain't talking to God. And just because they know how to post something doesn't mean they know anything. Some people are posting it because their friend posted it. All right. They're not even reading their Bible. And you sitting up like, mm, I'll take that. that Pastor Hamlet up here preaching until he's about ready to fall out. And you're like, well, I don't know. But watch this. The 25th chapter. Praise is the bridge that takes you from correction to peace. Because watch what he says. He said, he said the hand of the Lord is going to rest in this mountain, the 10th verse. He shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, like a swimmer that spread forth his hands to swim. He'll bring all the enemy's pride down. Whew. Look at this. You ain't got to fight nobody. Quit fighting. Quit being Facebook gangsters. Trying to shoot back, doing drive-bys and posting and subtweeting and all this other foolishness. You ain't got time. Watch this. Then he says in the 26th chapter, there comes a point where you have to declare some things about God. He said, in that day, look at so I said, my day is coming. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. And what's the song going to be? We have a strong city. Whew. Look at someone say, there's coming a moment where you're going to declare some things about God and about yourself. Come on, tell them that you got to declare some things about God and about yourself. You got to say it. I, I'm, I'm challenging everybody every single day, declare some stuff about yourself. You wait for people to come by and confirm. No, no, no. The, you have, ought to have a relationship with God by now to where when he says it, you say it back to him and say, yes, that's right. I am strong. I am healed. I am delivered. I am blessed. I am anointed. I am gifted. I am powerful. I have peace. I have joy. Watch this. 
He said, the Lord is going to appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. In other words, our protection is going to be, we have salvation all around us. It says, open the gates that the righteous nation that keepeth the truth may enter in. You say, wait a minute, Pastor, I thought they were just getting corrected. Yes, but understand, when God gets through with you, they're, gonna, they're not going to see, see, oh, y'all, let me, let me say this real quick. It's your, look at someone and say, you're not your sin. All right, he didn't say that, but no, no see, y'all don't really, not really believe that. They can say, that's what I did, but that's not who I am. You have to declare some different things about yourself. As long as you keep claiming your past. I was, I was sharing something that Bishop Wagner said a long time ago. The late great Bishop Norman L. Wagner said, he said, don't answer a call from your past. And what he was talking about was folks, when they get saved, you can tell what they used to be involved in by some of the choices they make now. For example, uh, if you were, you know, every now and then I like to, you can tell what decade folks come from. Every now and then I like to talk just because it's funny to me. I like to talk like I'm in the 70s. <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? You know, you, and instead of saying what's happening, you say what's happening? You know, hey, foxy lady. That old jive sucker. You know, all that. I mean, this just jive turkey. But sometimes there were people that had certain occupations in the 70s. And you see them buying a suit <laughs> for Easter. <laughs> and you can tell <laughs> what decade they came from. Because... I didn't even know they made that in purple. <laughs> Look at so I said, but you got to coordinate. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but see, you, you have to, sometimes you can't, because see, a lot of us like nostalgia. We like to, you know, we like to go back when we were hot stuff. Oh, Y'all getting quiet on me. When we... You know, we got a lot of attention, so a lot of times we go back to, we resort back to an era when we were popular. By the same token, you can't try to dress currently. Look at someone and say, don't, don't put no skinny jeans on. <laughs> skinny jeans aren't for everybody. Male or female. <laughs> Lay your hand on somebody and say, I'm about to pass out right now. <laughs> Some folks standing not because they're, they're, they're saying amen, they just can't sit down. <laughs> but you realize that you can't stay in a frame of mind from your past. You can't allow your past to stifle your present and hinder your future. Because that's what the enemy likes to do. He likes to bring up all that you did. Sometimes you thank God. Sister Ruby was talking about it. Sometimes you pray for stuff. Sometimes you did stuff and you, like, and you look back and you're like, I can't believe I was that crazy. Okay, I know y'all so y'all y'all so sanctified at the ten o'clock service. <laughs> but you said, but he's declaring, open the gates that the righteous nation. When God gets through with you, he said, your past doesn't matter. You're na this is who you are now. But notice what he says. He will keep him, and I gotta close, in perfect peace. 
And keep means he will guard him. Understand, judgment wasn't Isaiah's last word and it wouldn't be God's last word. The final response to his people wasn't going to be God's final response. But it was going to be. But after the exile comes restoration. He brings us back in line. How does he do it? He has to keep us, watch this, in perfect peace. He will, he shall guard you. Going to put his guard all around your mind. Guard you in perfect peace. Those two words in Hebrew are translated shalom, shalom. Y'all didn't catch it. He will keep you in peace, peace. Shake somebody's hand and say, peace, peace. He'll keep you in peace, peace. You say, well, why does he have, why does he say perfect peace or peace, peace? Because now that's peace in both areas. Externally and more importantly, internally. He's going to keep your mind. How do you know? The New Testament equivalent is in Philippians chapter 4, where Paul says, he says, rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. He says, he says, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about anything. Be anxious about nothing. Oh, you see, it's quiet. But pray about everything. Don't, y'all yeah, didn't catch it. Look at this. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. And he said, here's how you have to pray. He said, with, he said, make your petitions and your requests known unto God with thanksgiving. So you bring everything to God and praise him for it. Praise him that you can bring everything to God. And then he says, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. So it's going to guard your emotions and your thoughts. You know, somebody said, that's why you ain't going to be out of control now. You won't be all tripping. You won't be all on edge. You won't be. You know, as I told you last week, some people, oh, you on my last nerve. I got one, you got one nerve left. Look at someone, I got one nerve left. And you on it. But see, here's the thing. He said he'll guard your heart and he'll guard your mind. It's, going, it's not going to make sense to anybody why you have the kind of peace that you have. Why you're not frustrated. Oh, God, help me. As you're standing, watch this. The Lord says, I'm going to keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Look at someone I say, focus. The reason we can't finish strong is because we keep losing focus. As I said earlier, sometimes people watch. That's why you got to be so careful about what you click on, what you tune into, because everything isn't for everybody. I had friends of mine that I knew liked to eat meat. I ain't going to call his name because he, you know, I just ain't going to call him out. But all of a sudden they were made a post on Facebook about, oh, it got them rethinking everything because they watch one video. Please understand this. Anytime somebody puts a video up, they have an agenda. They're just not doing that just so you'll feel, you know, for you to be healthy. They're doing it because they want you to buy all this organic, these vegetables and, 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 Anyway, well, but you know, nobody wants to know, or nobody needs to be going to a slaughterhouse. (laughs) 
Amen. Because nobody wants to know how the sausage is made. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want, <laughs> yeah, can I talk to y'all for a second? I don't want my chicken that fresh to where it's running around and then all of a sudden now it's on my plate. Now understand, my, my grandfather over there on Herrick, where you know, Vaughn Street done brought everything, but the, his house used to be right there across from Vaughn Street Elementary School. And my grandfather had him a low-key farm out in his backyard. He had that much land. And uh, he would have chickens and goose and the duck or something. He had all this. And he, and he would go ahead and I didn't even like the eggs from granddaddy's house. They were brown eggs, right? And some of y'all say, ooh, those are the best ones. Yeah, but it's just the yolk that looked different. It just, it was, but my mom, I can hear my mom, that's good food. You gotta go on and eat that. I'm like, no, mom, I don't, I didn't want no chicken from down there. What I'm saying is you can't let one video, one message stop you from being a normal person. Because then all these people now, uh, you know, because everything they tell you on TV, it's so funny how they advertise these, these, these drugs and stuff. Because it's supposed to be something for you, you know. <laughs> Anxiety is something, and then next thing, but now some of the, but then they rattle off the side effects. It's like, well, suicidal thoughts and, you know, and, and I'm like, well, if it's all that much of a problem, I think I'd just rather be sick, you know, and just pray, because I'm, you know, now I'm, 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 I'm up driving and eating in the middle of the night. And, you know, it's like. <sighs> and then they tell you they got some people, got a husband and wife sitting in the bathtub outside for some reason. But now I'm check with your doctor and see if your heart can handle it. Because otherwise. You And then you'll be depressed, and then you, it's, so you, uh, it's like, so you have to learn how to go back to basics. You know, uh, Paul told us in the scripture, he said, everything's good. All meat is good and nothing to be refused. He said, you had to bless, take it with thanksgiving. So all y'all that don't want to eat meat anymore, fine. If you got any, like, ribs or something in your freezer, holler at your boy. I, Everything in moderation, people. Sitting over there eating a salad all day. <laughs> Go on. Y'all sitting there starving to death. Looking just as weak. I'm sorry, let me stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sitting there right now about to pass out. You need a burger. That's what you mean. But sometimes you have to, you know, be careful about what you, you're talking about your natural diet. How about be careful about your spiritual diet, your mental diet, your emotional diet. Everything can't be, it's not for you. And it's okay, amen, as you reach across the aisle. The Lord says you have to learn how to focus, keep your mind on the Lord. For the rest of this year, I challenge each of us to focus, to keep um, every day, get up before you turn your phone on, unless it's to get a scripture, before you click on every, any social media, before you get your emails, before you read some texts, talk to God. Just spend some time in conversation with Jesus. Because if you acknowledge him in all your ways, he'll direct your path. He'll give you the right way to go for that day. You have to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Provide for us, Lord. Make a way. And I'm not just saying get up and beg. I'm just saying get up and praise God for who he is, for allowing you to wake up. 
It's like Denzel Washington said, you know, says so often, but he, he said, he said when you put your, you know, put your shoes, you know, your slippers or whatever, put them way under the bed so that you have to get on your knees <laughs> to find them. And while you're down there, thank him for life. Thank him for everything that he's given you. Thank him. It'll start, just it send, spend some time thanking him. And then there may be moments throughout the day where you have to refocus. It's okay. Keep refocusing. Keep refocusing. Keep sharpening your focus so that you're, by the end of the day, you realize that God has been good to me all day long. And I didn't lose my mind during the course of the day. I didn't get off track. I didn't get out of pocket. I didn't, have, I didn't want to fight somebody. I saw a video yesterday. Uh, somebody was jumping out of their car fighting. And, and it's just... I mean, in the middle of the street, just, just, and I'm like, folks are on edge now. Let those folks that are crazy go on and have that accident somewhere else. Let them go, because it's not that serious. Squeeze that head, say, I got a long way to go. And I'm going to stay focused. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We speak and declare over everyone perfect peace. Shalom, shalom. Peace to the second power. Peace compounded into their life. Lord, we go through life so many times and our peace has been disturbed. And sometimes it's disturbed by, because of what we picked up along the way. Some of us have been like we're just going through life like we're hunting for yard sales, antiquing, Lord, picking up other folks' junk giving them little or nothing for it and bringing it home and now we got more junk in our life Lord we picked up so much from so many people and Lord we thought it was being a good Christian but really it was being a dump ground, dumping ground for somebody else's issues Lord in all they're doing uh, when they say they're doing me Lord help us to learn how to just focus on you and us in the name of Jesus, don't allow us, don't allow the enemy to put anything in our homes, in our minds, in our lives that has us distracted from your purpose for our life. Well, Lord, we speak peace and joy over them right now. In the name of Jesus, we still the people like Caleb did and told them what your plans are for us. Lord, help us be better. In the name of Jesus, save us, heal us, deliver us, strengthen us, and bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God praise all over the building. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Come on, come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some glory. Give him praise right now. Come on, open your mouth. Praise until peace begins to flow. Hallelujah. Like a river. Hold on just a moment. Listen, um, some of you uh, might have heard while I was praying that you have to be careful about picking up stuff from other people. How many of y'all like going to uh, yard sales? Let me see your hands. All right. And I, and I, and I know what, what, what folks are say. Most of you that have your hands up would say, you can find some good stuff there. And probably you're, tr you're right. My father, my late great father, you, he, would, he would go to yard sales and he'd go getting reel to reels all the time. He's just, you know, he had so many of them, he was just picking up, oh, I got that at a yard sale, $5. Oh, my God. All right, Dad. Yeah, yeah. But understand, realize, though, what you, if you kind of pull back for a moment and get the big picture, you know what you're doing? You're picking up somebody else's junk. And they're saying, uh, I don't want this anymore. It's cluttering up my house. So now I'm going to put it out in my front yard. Now you can actually do it on eBay and different places, but uh, let go, let go .com or whatever. But think about that. I don't necessarily 
want something somebody else has used already. Because I don't know what they did with it. I don't know what went on in that house. And that's in the natural. Amen. Now, in the spiritual, that's the same principle. Yeah. I don't want to be connected to people that always putting their junk out and want me to pick it up. And I'm coming by, oh, that's a bargain. Come on, I, I can handle that. Yeah, I'll take that. Now I got a bunch of junk in my mind that, I'm, that wasn't even mine. But I'm handling it now because somebody else wanted to get rid of it. And I was silly enough to pick it up. Don't pick up everybody's junk. I'm going to just drop that in your spirit. You can't solve everybody's problem. Tell them, I'll tell you what works for me. I pray and I go to church and I worship the Lord. Try, tell them to try that. But, they, but, I, but I want you, no, no, no. I'm, your sa I'm not your savior. Amen. I'm going to let you go. Come on, ministry team. Come on. Elder Cologne, would, would you help us, man? Amen. I appreciate it. Amen. But let God have his way in your life. Whenever the Lord says peace, there'll be peace. Oh, Lord, peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, oh, there'll be peace. In the midst of the storm, there is peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, hallelujah, hey, there'll be peace. In the midst of confusion, there is peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, there is peace. Hallelujah. Oh, peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, my Lord, there'll be peace. In my mind, in my home, there is peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, oh my God, yeah, there'll be peace. Yeah, my Lord, peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, I claim it for my life. There is, there'll be peace. In the midst of confusion, there is peace. Oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says peace, hey, my Lord, there'll be peace. Hallelujah. Yay, peace, oh, oh, peace. Everybody say, whenever the Lord says peace, yeah, 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 there'll be peace. Everybody say peace, peace, oh, oh, peace. Whenever the Lord says In my mind, in my home, in my 
my situation, in my family, on my job. There will, there will be peace. There will be peace, peace. Yeah, my Lord, my Lord, yeah. There'll be peace. Hallelujah. Claim it for your life. Say, peace. Oh, 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 oh peace. Everybody claim it. Say, whenever the Lord says peace. Yeah, there'll be peace. Hallelujah. Hey, peace. Oh, 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 oh peace. Whenever the Lord says peace. Hey, there'll be peace. Oh, my Lord. Peace. Oh, 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 peace. Whenever the Lord says peace. Yeah, there'll be peace. Hallelujah. Say peace. Oh, 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 peace. Can everybody lift up your voice? Come on, say. Whenever the Lord says peace. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, there'll be peace. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. Peace. Oh, 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 peace. Come on and claim it right now. Claim it right now. Whenever the Lord says peace, we bind distraction right now in the name of Jesus. We bind confusion right now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. Whenever the Lord says peace, yeah. Whenever the Lord says peace. Listen, listen, listen. Jump up real quick. I know we're a little late, but jump up real quick. And look at, get one person by both hands. Look them in the eye. If you got to get three, get three. But get somebody and look at them. Put your hands on their shoulders. Uh huh. Put your hands on their shoulders and say, In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare peace in your life, in your mind, in your emotions, in every aspect of your life. Peace, peace. Say, Peace, peace. In Jesus' name. No anxiety, no worry. No distractions. Peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll give God praise for it. Yeah, you know, I'll be peace. I'll be peace. Yeah, peace. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Whenever the Lord says peace. Hallelujah. Yeah, there'll be peace. In the midst of the storm, there is peace. Oh, 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 peace. Give God glory all over the building. Come on, give him glory. God bless you. You may be seated. Look at your neighbor and say, calm down. Tell him you're all right. <laughs> I remember when, my, when we used to play football outside. And um, sometimes you don't, you know, you fall or have a hard hit. I remember my brother Mike all the time would say, all right, all right, all right you're all right, man, you're all right. And he'd tell me, you know, because, you know, he knew I was getting ready to cry. So he's looking at me and saying, oh, you're all right, you're all right, hey, man, you're all right. And he said, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> when was that ever any kind of medical... <laughs> Rub some dirt, shake it off, shake it off, man. You all right? You probably had a concussion or something out there, but it's just. <laughs> but, but look, just lay hands on somebody. Say, you all right? You all right? Just, 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 just. tomorrow at seven thirty at our Palmdale location, we'll be having a Bible study. The series continues. The best is yet to come. That'll also be here Tuesday night at seven thirty following our 7 p.m. prayer on Tuesday night. Um, special announcement, 
um, if you would like to become an official member of Spirit and Life Ministries, next Sunday, somebody say next Sunday, is your chance, is your opportunity. Please come to our membership office and sign up today for our Getting Connected class. How many official members do we have? Come on, wave your hand. You're, you've gone through the Getting Connected class. Wave your hand in the air. Wave it like you just don't care. Y'all waving it like you care, but okay, I'll, just, I'll take it. All right, I'll take it. If you're not an official member and you haven't signed up yet for our class, please sign up today. Today. Come to the membership office to my right, to your left, and sign up. Uh, and those of you that have signed up, I appreciate you. You'll be hearing from us this week. I'll probably just give you a jangle. Say, hey, I'm going to hit you up. <laughs> I'm going to call you. <laughs> and uh, just uh, remind you about the class. It's going to be following our service next Sunday. Uh, and we're going to, um, we're looking forward to that, and looking forward to welcoming some new members of the family. Uh, so God bless you. So please sign up today. Also, uh, in our, at our Palmdale location this Saturday at 9 a.m., uh, Cedric and Marnita Age, our members of our church, are having the, another one of their HUD community uh, involvement events. That's 9 a.m. If you'd missed the last one, uh, you can get in on this one. That's going to be at Spirit and Life Ministries, our Palmdale location, 450 West Palmdale Boulevard, Suite E, uh, right, off, right on Palmdale Boulevard, right off the 14. Uh, you can get there and, and be a part of that. If some, if, if some of you are interested in buying a home, I got one, I got three people that said something, amen. And I, know, I heard Brother Cur Curtis say it, and I heard a couple of women up here. Let's see, look at somebody say, you can buy a home. Y'all getting quiet on me because some of y'all just disqualified yourself from that miracle. You said, no, I can't. My credit, you know, my credit. Listen, go up there and check out the this, this sessions. Uh, they are, there, are, there are a lot of great ways the government will help you buy a home. They we're having a, there is a housing uh, crisis in this country, especially here in California, and they're trying to get people off the streets and into homes and also getting people out of apartments where this rent is going up like crazy. You, you can get into and you can buy a home. There, there are a lot of different programs that they have access to. They're HUD certified and official nationwide. So they're able to help you. Uh, so check that out Saturday, 9 a.m. at our Palmdale location uh, with uh, Brother Cedric and Sister Marnita Age. God bless you. All right, it's offering time. It's offering time, and uh, you can, if you will stand and give as the Lord has blessed you. We certainly appreciate everybody that's giving and supporting. You all are giving and supporting, right? Some of y'all didn't say nothing. But anyway, <laughs> no, please, we appreciate you, all of you that are giving, supporting, and trying to help this ministry uh, serve you better. And so hold that offering up in the air. And how many of y'all need a blessing? How many of y'all need a job? How many of y'all need some doors open, some raises? Wave that offering. Father, we ask you to bless everyone that's giving. No matter what the amount is, Lord, we ask you to take it, bless it, break it, multiply it back 100-fold. Open doors, give jobs, give favor, give increase. And we believe you and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. You're in the hands of the ushers and the deacons. If you'd like to um, text to give, I got to, I think, I, not, not text to give. If you'd like to give online, you can do it. I got to give online myself today. So. <laughs> We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Oh, everybody say blessed. 
We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. Have a blessed we week, everybody. God bless blessed. you.